docking today Steve. Let's go get some biodiesel. That was a little weak on the informational <laughs> side of things. Good. We're in San Diego. Uh, we're going to the biodiesel plant uh, to meet up with Tyler and um, this is our first time at a biodiesel plant so we'll let you know if this stuff is good or not. I think we're gonna put some in the truck yeah. to see if it explodes. The myth will be solved soon. <laughs> Hot town, summer in the city. Back of my neck getting burned pretty. <laughs> okay, I think we're at the biodiesel plant. It's not that big, Steve. It's pretty small. It's because you guys don't buy biodiesel. Otherwise, it'd be huge. <laughs> All right, let's go to a biodiesel facility. My name is Tyler Case. Uh, I am the COO of New Leaf Biofuel and one of the founders. And we're going to get a tour and figure out why putting biofuel in your new diesel engine does not have any negative impact on your car. It's a myth. Is it true that I can run biodiesel in a brand new Dodge that I buy? Yes, you can, you can run blends of biodiesel okay. with petroleum diesel in your new vehicles. There is engine manufacturer maximums to biodiesel today. Most of those fall into the five to 20% range, but you do not need to change anything to run those five to 20% blends in your engines. Okay, so like for in our case with the Cummins R2.8, Cummins has already approved up to 20% biodiesel, which is awesome. So that means their guys have checked and made sure that this fuel has no negative impact and you don't void your warranty. Very correct. important. Yes. That's correct? Absolutely. Awesome. Good. Okay. So you're going to show us uh, around yeah. and We're how gonna it works. walk around and kind of show you the processing equipment and talk a little bit about how biodiesel is made. Uh, one thing that biodiesel does, small blends of biodiesel, is it adds back in that lubrosity that was removed when low sulfur diesel was mandated. To really simplify it, what we're doing is taking vegetable oil, which is really thick, and we're making it thinner. And once we make it thin enough, then it's basically uh, the same thing as a diesel fuel. You guys have probably all heard of people that have run their old Mercedes yeah. Benz on just vegetable oil. Right. You can run the old lower compression engines on just vegetable With oil. Larger uh, injectors. Yeah, every, everything was lower compression, right. larger injectors. Yeah. yeah, now with the you know the modern engines, we've had to go to biodiesel. And then to the point of biodiesels had to become better and better and cleaner and cleaner okay. to run in these higher compression engines. Um, we're basically making about 4,500 gallons per batch. One big customer that you would know is Pilot. Okay. All of Otay Mesa's biodiesel comes from us. We sell directly to, to Shell, Chevron, to Soro. They actually buy our fuel and blend it in. So. It, pretty much in all diesel in California, there's between one and four percent biodiesel in it, and that's where the fuel that's where the fuel is going today. What a lot of people don't know is that this used cooking oil used to go right back into uh, agriculture. It was it was sprayed on poultry feed and cattle feed and to be used as a caloric supplement. And as biodiesel became more and more commercial, uh, that that vegetable oil started to transfer more into the energy sector, fuel sector. This is a vegetable oil off the route. You can see how nasty and dirty it is. That's vacuumed right out of a storage tank at a restaurant that we provide them. Uh, this is after it's gone through an auger, a screener, a high-speed centrifuge, and a sock filter. And then we chemically react that taking, breaking the glycerol out of it. And then this is spec biodiesel. If you kind of look, you can see how, how one is much more viscous than the other. This is much less viscous, a lot clearer than the vegetable oil before the reaction. Steve, uh, this is a good scotch. This oh, is a, a 50 year? years. Oh, 50 years. 50 year scotch. Smells it's right. good. It smells, it smells Do you right. get in those subtle <laughs> nuances smells. of uh, Good. Jack in the box. Uh, Jack. <laughs> we basically produce the best fuel in California based on carbon intensity. We get two to three truckloads full 
uh, 6,000 gallon truckloads of vegetable oil in here a day. Wow. And then we bring in somewhere between four and 6,000 gallons a day of our own product. Of oil. Vegetable oil. <laughs> vegetable. Fryer oil. <laughs> I feel like he doesn't, he doesn't keep the weight on very well. And I feel like if, <laughs> if I just put a little bio, uh, what is it called, the bullet coffee? Oh, I could do some biodiesel <laughs> in your coffee. You do that. In the morning. So we went to um, New Leaf Biofuel. Steve got a hat. I got a shirt. Um, it was really, really cool. It was more cool than I thought it was going to be. I kind of had my doubts about biofuel, honestly, on a couple issues. And one of them for me was the whole soy. soy. And, you know, the way soy is farmed and all the stuff that it's, um, it's pretty hard on the environment. Now, that being said, we produce more soy uh, uh, or we byproducts than we're even using right now. So the byproducts being made because of the food system, how we feed livestock and a bunch of other messed up things about the food system. So the biodiesel guys are just dealing with some of our waste, which is great. And they're reusing it and we can run our engines and they're more lubricated and all this amazing stuff. It's, it's kind of a win, 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 win. But then we go to this place and they're doing it with vegetables. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, they're they're doing it with restaurant waste oil. Yeah, New that Leaf collects cool. uh, from what sixteen thousand different restaurants in the 16, San Diego. <laughs> that's gnarly. And then they that's produce. Cool. That's only twenty percent of what they're turning into biofuel. And then the other eighty percent they get from brokers. So it's amazing. All of their yeah. fuel produced is coming from waste oil. So we could do. If you ran, well, at 20% biodiesel, all the fuel they're giving you is the most carbon, you know, the, the smallest carbon footprint you can get in, uh, and get fuel, period. Like, it's, it's better than vegetable oil because it is vegetable oil. It's just refined more. So it's a better quality product that's clean. You don't have to worry about your injectors. You don't have to worry about gunking up. You don't have to worry about temperature control. Yeah. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. It's, that's 20%, and then, like, you know, you don't have to worry about changing out all your rubber or anything like that at the blend that you can buy at the pump, which is, you know, why not use it then? Right. You know? Thanks, California. Let's. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we don't like California anymore. I mean, we like being here in California. Weather's nice. It's beautiful. But um, California is one of the few states that still doesn't allow uh, B100, which is 100% biodiesel. So we're only allowed to run 20% biodiesel. So since we're going to be legal, we're going to run 20%. But once we leave the state of California, all bets are off. Yeah. And I guess in all the total diesel fuel system, um, you're running three to 5% anyways, whether you knew that or not. Right. So, yeah. I mean, for those of you who are like totally against biofuels for some reason, 5% uh, of your bio, your diesel is uh, biodiesel anyways. So. Yeah, and I don't think people <laughs> are against it. They're just they assume it's vegetable it's bad oil. For you. Right. They just assume it's vegetable oil. So they, they met some hippie car. that was driving <laughs> some Mercedes Benz that was like smelled like French fries and they're like, Oh, that's biodiesel. I don't want to do that to my perfectly new Dodge Ram. Right. This has been approved already by the scientist and Dodge and Cummins. And Everybody Jews, and Ford, yeah. they've already tested this for 20% biodiesel. If you're at Pilot or Loves in California and you're not buying biodiesel and we see you we're coming for you. Steve's coming for you. And I will videotape it in case he loses so we can sue you. Because we're Californians. Because we're Californians. <laughs> what a bunch of assholes. Oh, it's Sony super slippery. Yeah, super Slip slippery. Like an ice rink. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so if you ever go to a biodiesel plant or spill your biodiesel when you're filling up the vehicle, there's a hazard there of you slipping and breaking your neck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Just industrial and uh, smelled like the soap making process. It was just uh, had a unique scent in there. Which had something to do with the chemical changes because they're creating, basically creating a chain of molecules that match up with, with petroleum, petroleum yeah. fuel so that it you know, works exactly the same. But in that process, if they don't do it just right, it can g turn into soap, it can make basically. Soap. <laughs> yeah. Who would have known? Then they're opening... Uh, and that's if that doesn't prove store. that it's clean, I don't know what does. Right. <laughs> if you don't process it just right, it turns into soap. Then you Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah.
What else? And, uh, what else? Apparently, you could drink it and probably not die, but... Uh, We're going to test that. We're going to start doing bullet coffees <laughs> with biodiesel fuel. Nobody's, nobody's testing that theory here. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, I hope you learned something about biodiesel. Post comments below. Subscribe. We've never said this before because yeah. it's super lame to say that. But nobody watches us on YouTube. We have like 136 followers. We love all 136. Thank you for that. But um, please subscribe and um, we're going to be posting more information about these trucks and um, about how to romp around in a more environmentally friendly way. And our upcoming trip in May. Upcoming trip in May. We leave May 15th basically. I should tell my boss. <laughs> the, um, Me too. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, thanks for watching. Um, well, thanks New Leaf Biofuels. Yeah, thanks New Leaf for um, showing us around. That was really cool. We were impressed. Um, See you guys next time. Okay.